What's up guys, it's Trevor with Ember's Fireplaces and Outdoor Living. Today I'm out here on my deck uh, enjoying the patio. And if you're like me, one of your favorite things to do is sit outside and enjoy your patio. Problem is it's getting cold out. It's getting that time of year. Right now it is uh, 48 degrees outside and quite frankly, it's just too cold to sit out here. So we're gonna show you today how I heat this patio so I can enjoy sitting out here year round. Let's get started. So you can see here I have my fire pit. Now this is a Warming Trends fire burner. Um, it is stinking awesome. And when you're standing right next to it, it's nice and toasty. But if you're sitting even as far back as here or right there, especially when it's in the 40s out here, it's not gonna do the job. It's not gonna cut it to where you can stay warm out here. So today I'm gonna give you some tips and my little secret of what I use to keep this patio nice and hot not just warm, but hot year round. So you can see here, I have some heaters. So we're gonna fire these up. I have them just on toggle switches. Now these are Infratech electric heaters. I have one more switch over here for this guy. So essentially what these are, is they're electric heaters. Um, and the reason why I like these is they're gonna use infrared heat. So they're gonna heat objects. So when you're sitting down, you're actually feeling the warmth of them, almost like you're in the sunlight. So let's turn these on. Again, it's a little chilly out here. And then I'll sit down and tell you why I like electric heaters better than any other option. So while these heat up, um, we'll check some temperatures here in a minute, but I'll let these heat up. Um, but here's why I like electrics. Most of our customers say uh, that you need gas heaters. Here's the problem, here's what I don't like with gas heaters. The biggest issue with gas heaters is it seems like they only work when you have a completely covered roof or a covered uh, patio. So here we have an open pergola. So what that means is we have open air above us. What happens with gas heaters is I've had a bunch before, I've had some in houses, I've installed them in customers' houses, I've installed them in breweries, installed them in a lot of places. The issue and the biggest problem we have is in an open setting, although there, there's a lot of heat coming off a gas heater, it's just rolling up. And so if you don't have a good covered patio or a good covered space, you're losing and that a lot of that heat is just escaping and it's not gonna make you feel comfortable. Cause that's the whole point of a heater is that you can sit down and feel comfortable to where you wanna spend time outdoors. And especially everything that's been going on um, uh, with COVID and the virus, uh, a lot of restaurants, uh, even people's in people's houses, they want to be spending more time outside. They don't want a lot of people congregating indoors. So the big, best solution to that, especially in open setting, is electric heat. Because like I said, that infrared heat is gonna heat objects and that heat is gonna stay down where it should be instead of rolling away. Now, if you're in a completely covered space, I love the idea of gas heaters. But in a setting like this, this is where I really love electric. The other thing is, is those stand-up gas heaters, those actually do work pretty well. Biggest problem with those is they just take up a lot of real estate. If you're like me, you have a decent sized patio, but it's not enormous. And so these overhead heaters allow you to keep good square footage. And uh, I don't know, just sitting out here now, I can feel, feel them uh, really uh, hit me. What do you think, so are you feeling? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, they're definitely feeling good. Okay, what else? Biggest other complaint I get about electric heaters is uh, people think, this is a myth, they think that they cost a lot to run. And that simply is not true. So I'd have to run the calculations again, but these, I do barely notice them on my electric bill. They're about the same cost of running natural gas. Again, that's gonna depend on your area. But in theory, they do a great job and they're just as cost effective as gas. I keep them on a couple hours a night usually. And again, I barely notice them on the electric bill. So contrary to popular belief, they do not cost a lot to run. Now here's what else is cool about them, is they're actually a lot more affordable than gas units too. And that's what's nice, is they're actually, the actual heads themselves are not very expensive. Yeah, now that I'm over here, especially that I'm away from the fire pit, this is where I'm really feeling it. 
So here's the thing, they're, they're a lot more cost effective than gas units, but here's the one downside. There's two things that make them a little tricky. Number one, they draw 220 um, and a lot of amperage. So even though they're cost effective to run, they're gonna tape up, take up a good chunk of space um, in your breaker box. So you gotta make sure you have enough room in your breaker box. And even though they themselves aren't bad to buy, Sometimes an electrician to be able to run 220 out to them, depending on your area, may charge a lot, especially when they're this time of year when they're super busy. But again, what's the idea behind them? The idea is that we can enjoy our patio space for much longer periods of the year. We're in Colorado, cold climate. Without them, you could probably start sitting in the patio in May, and then you're done being on the patio by, we're into late October. We definitely wouldn't be sitting out here now. Um, it's just too cold. So you get five, six months out of the year without good heaters. Even with a fire pit, it's not comfortable enough. Here, now I could be using these in parts of January, unless it's absolutely blizzarding. I could be out here a long time. So that's the point is we have a lot of square footage out here. And then in the winter time, when it gets cold, we lose valuable square footage of our living space. So if you want to increase the enjoyment or even increase the square footage of your living environment at home, this is a cheap solution rather than doing an addition or something like that. You put it in that perspective, um, you can just enjoy the outside uh, year round for fractions of the cost of doing an add-on or something like that and really increase the square footage of your living space. So that's what's awesome about them. Ooh, I'm getting a little sweaty. <laughs> what else we need to talk about? So we talked about uh, install, we talked about cost to run, why I like them better than gas. We also need to talk about um, sizing. So how many you need is gonna depend on your climate, it's gonna depend on um, your square footage. So what I have here is I have a 10 by 20 space and these are mounted at about eight feet or so. So what Infratec tells you, or Bromic, uh, other another website, they're gonna tell you that you probably need one of these heads right here. You would probably need one of these for a 10 by 10 space. And you can see here, obviously I've doubled up. Now the reason I've doubled up is one, I just had the room um, in my breaker box. So we finished the basement. So I had another sub panel that I had space in. And two, my thought process is, is you can always, always turn these down. And that's what's key is it's a drag and I've done it before. I've had people undersize. I've had restaurants undersize. There's nothing more annoying than making an investment to heat a space and you just can't do it. And so I always like to oversize it. I usually go double um, because one, the, what they're not counting on is colder climates and they're also not counting on wind. Wind can affect the amount of heat that's coming off of these. And so I like to double up. And if you do a dual element system, like this, you can see there's two elements. Get a close up of that. So you got two elements in there. Let me just shut one of them off. Keep it on there, Sawyer, while I do this. So now what I can do on just my toggle switch, I can shut one off. So you see that top one turning off, Sawyer? Is the camera picking that up? Yeah, so now I've just reduced my heat output 50%. So what's great about that is, let's just say you wanna take the chill off. It's not full blown cold out. All you want to do is take the chill off. All you have to do is pop off one of those and then you don't have to worry about being too hot. And worst case scenario, you just turn some off. And then when it's super cold, you can have them all on because undersizing is a problem. Oversizing is just merely an inconvenience. So, and that's just not a sales pitch. That's just personally what I do here and I absolutely love it. I can tell you my wife loves it because she's cold all the time. So she can sit out here especially in the mornings when the sun's coming up later, she can still sit out here and enjoy coffee because we love sitting out here having coffee. So electric heaters are a must in any patio climate, especially in colder climates, any patio setting. Just to put it in perspective, I put a thermometer out here. So again, this is completely open and uh, it's 48 degrees out and our thermometer is reading 71. So I'm keeping an outdoor space at 71 degrees in a fully open concept. Now again, I've oversized this, but if you want help trying to size them, just call us. We can help you figure out configurations, how many you need, what sizings you need, that kind of thing. 
Um, so anyways, that's just my experience uh, running electric patio heaters. They're my favorite, favorite way to heat an outdoor space. I mostly use this guy right here. This is fun, but it's really more for ambiance and I love having it. There's nothing like sitting out here with the fire pit, but you really need both, I think. You need the fire pit for ambiance, have the electric heaters for comfort, because that's what you want to do is be comfortable. And people are spending more time at home now. If you want to invest in your patio, I don't think besides a good barbecue, there's not a better investment to really enhance your outdoor experience like electric heaters. Again, that's just my two cents. Again, these are the Infratech WD series because they allow for dual elements. Uh, that's personally what I use here at my home. Um, this video is rambling a little bit as usual. I'm kind of all over the place, but hopefully this helps you um, decide if it's, this is something you want to go with. If you're sort of on the fence of getting an electric uh, heater, hopefully this video helps you. Oh, they also come in different colors. So if you don't want the stainless steel look, there's a lot of other color options and different ways to mount them. But this is the best way to heat your patio and enhance your living space to enjoy your patio year round is you got to get yourself some good Infratech electric heaters. There's no better investment you'll make when it comes to heating your patio. So again, all these electric patio heaters, um, they're on our website. Visit our website, www.embersliving.com. If you're in the Denver metro area, Colorado area, come to our showroom. We have these on display at our showroom. Uh, and again, this isn't, I'm not really trying to be pitchy here, but uh, this is just personally what I use. A lot of people ask me, you know, what the products that we sell, what do you use? Well, when it comes to heating my patio, this is what I use. Infratech patio heaters. They are my absolute favorite, favorite product in staying warm and be able to enjoy your patio year round. I anticipate being able to sit out here all winter as long as it's not snowing. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's my two cents. You got to get yourself some Infratech patio heaters if you want to stay warm all winter. Thanks so much for checking out this video. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Every time you guys, sub sub to, every time you guys subscribe, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel a ton. So it really helps out our channel a ton. Oh, here's Murphy. Murphy, you want to say hi? Yeah, see, Murphy likes the patio heaters too, doesn't he? Yeah, he really likes them. So the dogs love them, pets love them, kids love them, Sawyer loves them. He loves sitting out here. All right, Murph, that's enough. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for more videos. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. We'll see you next time.